I'm in the town where I was born in Arecibo, Puerto Rico, and this is one of the coastal neighborhoods that's facing severe beach erosion. The neighbors here tell me that there used to be a couple more rows of houses here, and the government had to buy them out because the ocean got so close. Now the people who still live here think they might face the same fate. <laughs> Beach erosion in Puerto Rico has been getting a lot of attention lately, but some of the pictures that have been going viral are of wealthier communities. That's not the case here. Here you have families who have been living here for generations, and this is all they have. They also just don't want to have to leave. But that luxury has become a threat. And scientists say it will get worse. The Diluvio Universal empezó con lloviznitas. Pues lo que estamos viendo ahora es sencillamente ese comienzo de lo que va a ser lo normal en 20 o 30 años. Aurelio Mercado has been studying the ocean for decades, and in the last few years, he's seen a trend. El denominador común es el aumento del nivel del mar. The federal government has been tracking sea level rise in Puerto Rico. They have also made predictions for the future. Now, how much more and how quickly sea level will keep rising depends on several factors, including how quickly ice caps melt due to climate change. There's erosion in so many beaches that it's hard to make it to all of them, but we're trying to take advantage of our time and go to as many as we can, just to see how bad the problem is. Sigues por ahí y son unos apartamentos que hay y uno de ellos esto se partió por la mitad y se ve ahí en el mar. Oh wow, you could see the house is tilting towards the ocean. You see that? That's crazy. Esta es mi casa. Esta es esta casa donde estamos. Correcto. Pero eso pues con los condos, es que no están cerca. The lady who showed us the picture didn't want to be on camera, but she told us that she's been here since she was a little girl. She grew up here. She says this used to be beach, and to now see the ocean so close is surreal. But she also doesn't seem too upset about it because she was not happy that they built here. And remember that scientist I talked to? He says he and others have been trying to warn against building too close to the coast for more than 10 years. I really wanted to give you a drone's look of the coast and just how close the water is now. This decided to not work. I'll have to find another way. This will get me in a better mood. Look at that. I don't even care anymore that I couldn't fly my drone. This is just such a beautiful place that it makes sense that so many people are so passionate about preserving it. But as experts will tell you, Puerto Rico's beaches are not just beautiful. They also protect humans from the effects of events like hurricanes. La playa actúa como barrera. Es nuestro protector y es nuestro rompeola principal. Experts say the clock is ticking. El movilizar completamente estructuras y comunidades se va a tener que hacer de manera completamente reactiva y de emergencia. And without action, more people will be displaced. Mucha gente aquí va a perder sus hogares. And Puerto Rico's coast won't be the same. Todo esto que aquí para allá era arena y la orilla estaba bien allá. Si no tenemos más cuidado con nuestras playas, pues nos vamos a quedar sin playas.